royal style watch, from princess and dripping in pearls to duchess Sophie's billowing silk. As we move into the next phase of summer, we look forward to another month of next level royal style. July brought us Wimbledon with its plentiful royal appearances including the comeback of the Princess of Wales who outshone all in a vibrant purple safiar dress. August promises plenty more sporty appearances from Europe's royals as we enter the last week of the Paris Olympic Games. Beyond the velodrome and the swimming pools, we patiently await a slew of royal outings where sartorial prowess is put on full display. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The Princess Royal, 73, was spotted in Edinburgh in aid of the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo wearing a sleek wool coat and two tartan scarves, in August. She also donned pearl earrings and a wash of red lipstick. The Duchess of Edinburgh looked radiant as she enjoyed an evening at the theatre watching Starlight Express in a billowing satin look, the gelato dress by Maclear. She paired it with gold jewels and the chic vintage indigo bag from the same Spanish brand. Queen Mary of Denmark, 52, looked so elegant as she stepped out for funeral of former court chief Bethornet at the Holman's Church in Copenhagen. She donned a stylish pleated skirt with a jesper hovering satin wrap blouse and killer giant Vito Rossi heels. Queen Letizia of Spain, 51, was a boho beauty when she stepped out with her daughters and mother-in-law Queen Sophia in Mallorca. The royal rocked a tie-dye cord from Babaki with a pair of sandals from the trencer and a crochet crossbody bag by Jasunig and Thalith. Princess Anne has taken Princess Charlotte under her wing, according to reports, and is giving the young royal invaluable advice about her role within the family. Anne is perfectly placed to show Charlotte the ropes, both grew up with an older brother destined to be king with the princess royal proving to be invaluable to King Charles. A palace insider told Woman's Day, via the Express, they're talking all the time about everything and anything, women's football, sailing, horses, ballet, fashion, manners. Essentially she's foolproofing Charlotte into becoming the perfect princess and standby queen. Anne is also said to be inadvertently giving her some juicy gossip on the family by going through some of the worst faux pas a royal can make, the source added, from her uncle partying in Nazi uniforms to Beatrice's dreadful fascinator at her parents' wedding. A key area of focus for Anne is Charlotte's bond with Prince George as she tries to ensure that they won't end up rivals like William and Harry, instead growing up with the healthy mutual respect that has always marked Anne and Charles's relationship. William and Kate are said to be especially thrilled by Anne's efforts. They couldn't imagine a better role model than Anne, who is renowned for her work ethic, and impregnable support for the king. She doesn't put a foot wrong whilst still having her opinions not only heard but respected. Anne was invaluable to Kate during those early uncertain years, especially as a commoner. She wants Charlotte to have the same candid tough love and gave her. Princess Anne is known to be the hardest working royal, and she is much loved for her practical, down to earth approach to royal life. The no frills 73 year old, who opted not to give her children royal titles, had a typically witty retort recently when she was told by a youngster at an RDA, riding for the Disabled Association, event that she didn't look like a princess. The incident was recalled on the Royals with Roya and Kate podcast following Anne's return to royal engagements after a horse-related accident.